know that Liv Price is capable of striking from the top of the box. They're just not isolating anyone in a shooting position at the moment. Here's Gordon. That might be all about to change. Gordon swings across. Harding touches it down. Here is Price in that position we just spoke about. It takes a deflection. Matos is there. Prods at Goldwood, and there were plenty of Phoenix players back to stop it going any further. Now Harrison from distance, and that is the first shot on target. Well saved by Edwards around the post. That's a great save by um, Brianna Edwards. Again, with this Western Sydney side, it's probably a one-touch finish there by, by Price. If you allow Wellington to get organised and, and set up, they're, they're very difficult to break down in this final uh, back third. And the shot from Harrison, we said maybe it is time for long shots. Right there, a good drive. There's really flat trajectory on the ball. It was struck really well. And again, it's not a bad route um, to goal um, for Western Sydney Wanderers, given um, also the known weaknesses of the Wellington uh, goalkeeper airily at times. So here's the resulting corner. Harrison to take. And it's there for the opener. Sophie Harding with a glancing header. And after opening her account for the season against the victory last week, she's on a scoring streak. Western Sydney Wanderers 1, Wellington Phoenix 0. And that's an excellent uh, delivery by Amy Harrison. It's whipped in. Uh, the timing of Harding's run there is, is fantastic. And she just gets enough on it to redirect it. Really, really good goal by Sophie Harding. Jumped almost completely uncontested. The marking was zonal, was it, or man-to-man? -man? Either way, it doesn't look good for Wellington. It looks great for Western Sydney. And it is Sophie Harding's fourth in 38 games. ...where um, she's made first contact with her and, and grabbed the shirt and then pushed her in the second instance. Ball rolls underneath Gallagher, trying to make it count to the other end. Good save by Edwards. And she's crashed into her teammate, Marissa Vandermeer, but it was the reflex save that was vital to keep Sheridan Gallagher from making it 2-0. Excellent save by Edwards. She's quick off her line. Um, she makes it a very, very difficult angle if Gallagher is able to get anything on it. It's very good goalkeeping. Well, it was a, a pretty clever shot as well. Yeah, it, it wasn't a, a bad attempt. And, and what I, I like most about the action is um, it's desperation by the attacking player to, to try and get a toe in there. And as I touched on with the goalkeeper, sometimes uh, your defenders do come at, at the cost of you preventing a, a goal-scoring chance. Still Harrison, a show to the right-footed option, it's bobbled! And Gordon wasn't able to arrive in time. Edwards able to grasp on. Right idea by Harrison and really like Bethany Gordon um, as a midfielder following up uh, and just putting herself in a position that uh, if Bree Edwards' uh, touch there does go a little bit firmer into her path, she can get something on it. In it comes from Foster. Falling right on the keeper. And good chance there for Satchel, who rose to the header, but couldn't keep it down. Oh, and that's a fantastic delivery, and we probably wouldn't expect anything less from Foster. She's um, fairly consistent where it's well struck. Um, it's bending right in towards Satchel, and Satchel's just got to do better to get up higher and head that down on target. Oh, the goalkeeper's nowhere near this in the end. Matos. Harding. Danica Matos advancing. Matos shoots, deflected wide. Oh, the referee's saying a goal kick, but I reckon that quarter shin of a Phoenix player, Danica Matos, has never scored an A-League women's goal. This is as close as she's been. Yeah, and it's a really clever little pass by uh, Sophie Harding there, potentially given um, that the Wellington defender is coming out at such speed and plants their feet. Matos actually takes a touch onto her left and then strikes it across the goalkeeper. Wisniewski, neat triangle of passes under the ref it goes. Gomez, pinpoint out to the left. Here's Betsy Hassett, drags the ball into the box, crossing, teasing for a tap-in, and there was no one there. Rolston was late to the ball. Now Saskia Vosper. Wellington have got numbers forward. It needs a good cross. It tumbles into the box. It sits up for the chance. And Izzy Gomez, the first touch wasn't there when she needed it. Two excellent chances by the Wellington Phoenix. A change of acceleration sees Ralston arrive on time for the, the first uh, delivery to so say that she's on the, the end of it. I think she's a little bit casual there. And um, as we'll see on the second occasion, it's just probably a, by the looks of it, uh, Gomez 
first time finish and, and we see that in the back of the net. Wisniewski turning out into the center of the pitch. Gomez continued her run. Blocked by Caspers initially and now Foster is forced wide. But she's got the left foot to make something happen here, Foster. A hit and hope right at the end of the game. Claire Hunt is there, presents the ball to Ralston. Now Millie Clegg, cutting inside. Clegg, saved by Bloomer. They had one last chance, and Jordan Bloomer saves the three points for Western Sydney. Jordan Bloomer's been excellent, and uh, a grin. just look at the footwork of Millie Clegg. She's able to change feed, and it's the right decision to shoot there. Bloomer hits it high and long from the goal kick and she is the hero of the moment, saving the day for Western Sydney. Their season and top four hopes stay alive. Sophie Harding scored the match winner in the first half, but it's the goalkeeper, Jordan Bloomer, that is the reason for the final scoreline of Western Sydney Wanderers 1, Wellington Phoenix 0.